Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today uh, I'm going to do something uh, pretty simple, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, our brake calipers on our cars um, are just like a standard, just industry standard silver. Uh, I, for me, one, I want something that's going to stand out a little bit more. Um, and I don't plan on honestly ever going with like the, the STI, uh, you know, a, adapt package or a brake, big brake kit or anything like that. If I do change my mind down the road or whatever, I'll address that then. Uh, and because I, I don't plan on tracking this car, this is purely just my daily driver. But I want to add a little something to it. And like I said, the the factory calipers are just silver. They kind of blend in. Honestly, they don't even look good with the car. So I'm gonna try to change that up today. So uh, let me spin you around here real quick and show you what we're gonna use to kind of remedy that. All right. So today um, we're going to need. Uh, and, and I went with Rust-Oleum. Uh, there's a couple different brands. I think it's like VHT or whatever, but I went with the Rust-Oleum caliper paint. Uh, it says it's good up to 900 degrees, so it's gonna be way more than uh, what we're gonna use. Uh, it's brake dust resistant, prevents rust, blah, 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 all that crap. So I wound up going with the uh, gloss red. So I got two cans of this. I don't know if I'm gonna wind up needing both or not because I'm gonna do all four rotors. I'm sorry, rotors, Lord, all four calipers. And then I also got their, uh, they're high heat clear uh, it says it's a ceramic coating i don't know if it actually is or not but anyways i just wanted a clear coat that i could put over the top of this that way it'll help uh just keep that paint looking good for a long time uh also going to need some brake parts cleaner uh that way we can get all the uh, oils and everything off uh if there's any kind of grease or oil on the caliper now brake dust we're going to spray it with that uh wipe it down and then one last uh, thing we'll use is some 91% isopropyl alcohol. Um, and then that way we know once we use this, we spray all this off, get it all degreased. I also have some purple power back here as well. Probably going to start with that, honestly. Uh, wipe it down and then hit it with the brake parts cleaner. Uh, let that just self-dry. And then I'll physically wipe it down with the IPA. Uh, and then that way I know the surface is good and clean before we hit it with the spray paint. Uh, I also got a couple of trash bags, so we're gonna, I'll show you what we're gonna use these for, but it's essentially to wrap the whole uh, caliper so only the caliper itself is exposed. And then I got some drop cloth, uh, cause we don't want any overspray. So I'm gonna use this to tape the whole wheel well completely off and then up the fenders and the door, that way we get no overspray. And then of course, obviously you're gonna need some tape to tape all this with. So without further ado, let's uh, get into it. All right, so as you see, we've got the uh, front uh, wheel off. Uh, I got the rears off as well, uh, both sides. And uh, while I'm here, since I am at 10,000 miles, I'm gonna go ahead and do like a uh, brake pad check. And as you can see down in there, there's still quite a bit of pad left in there. 10,000 miles of uh, daily driving. It's hard to see this back one, but there is still plenty. Yeah, there you go. Still plenty left in there. So they're looking good. Uh, but also, as you see, there's some uh, brake dust and uh, grease buildup that uh, we're going to get cleaned off first. And then uh, we'll move on to taping everything up. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, Purple Power. Uh, I am switching back and forth between my GoPro and my phone as my GoPro is charging, guys. But with the Purple Power, uh, spray this stuff and be very liberal with it, okay? You're not going to hurt anything. It's just a degreaser. So be very liberal with this. Let it kind of sit and soak. Also too, a good thing is just one of these cheap ass brushes. You can get these things from Walmart and then that way you can scrub, okay? Because we want to get as much of this nasty grease and wax, or grease and wax, Lord, grease and oil and brake dust and everything else that's been building up on here. We want to get all this off. So we need to make sure that we take plenty of time in prepping this surface. That way that 
paint has a good surface to bond onto, a good clean surface, okay? All right, so I decided it's gonna be a little bit easier um, to just actually take the whole caliper itself off. So what I've done, there's two bolts that hold the, uh, the uh, caliper bracket, one here and one here. They're 19 millimeters. Just take those two off and this whole assembly comes out and then you'll have another bolt right here that holds this retainer clip on, okay? That is a, it's a 12 millimeter bolt and you just undo it from the backside and then that allows this brake hose to come out a little bit more. So you've got more access and play here, okay? Instead of it being pinned up here. And then that allows me to bring the whole thing completely out. And as you can see, I have access pretty much to all angles, all the way around and it's gonna be pretty free. Uh, there's gonna be just a couple of small spots that are be a little bit harder to get to maybe, but for the most part, I can get to just about everything once I wrap all this up. So that's where I've decided to go with it and uh, I'm gonna get everything wrapped up and show you what that looks like. Uh, before I do wrap this up, I just wanna let you guys know, I did use the uh, uh, Purple Power. Uh, I've went over and I've scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed all over this two or three times. You can see the floor is kind of wet here. Uh, but I've scrubbed this multiple times and then I went at it with about half of the can approximately But this brakes part cleaner that way. I've got two cans. So I use about half for the front I'll use the other half for the rear on one side and then I got the other can for the other sides Okay, uh, I did remove the brake pads. I set them over there to the side um, And then that way they're out of the way. They're not gonna get painted on and uh, I'm gonna go through you're gonna want to tape <clears throat> This is what we have our tape for. You're gonna to wanna to tape these rubber boots right here off, as well as uh, your bleed valve right here. You're gonna to wanna to tape that thing completely off. So both of these rubber rubber grommets here and that tape, anything else that you wanna tape off for accent color or whatever, have at it. Uh, you'll also wanna tape uh, right here with your banjo bolt uh, for the uh, caliper. You'll wanna tape this off and then this line, go ahead and just try to wrap it up. Uh, a little bit and then of course we'll tape all of this completely off in a, in a curtain so that way it's all uh, all shielded but uh, just kind of wanted to cover the uh, cleaning process real quick okay so this is what we use the trash bag for just open the bag up and then drape it all the way back through here make sure to pull your hose out and wrap as much of this up as you can and around and then I just have the caliper just hanging over actually uh, hung it over to the control arm right there. So that's gonna bag everything up here and then we'll be able to take our caliper If I can do this without knocking the bag off But we can take the caliper and just rest it right back up here where we had it before And as you see now we have a perfectly masked off area here So we're not gonna paint any of our rotor or anything like that, right? So now we have to worry about getting the rest of this draped, okay? And that's where the drop cloth is gonna come in. So I'm gonna get my drop cloth and uh, I'm gonna start draping it over all that and I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second. All right, and this is the drop cloth, guys. Look how far this is gonna cover. I could stretch it out even further, but there's no reason to because I'm only gonna do just this one uh, at a time. Uh, so the drop cloth, you see I just drape it over the entire front of the car here and then tuck it up in here. I kind of just shoved it up, you can see, into the top coil tower. Uh, I just kind of just wrapped it around the coil and that kind of held it up in place up there. I do have a fan currently going over here to my left-hand side, which I'm going to shut off. That way it stops uh, the spray. But this is kind of where you should be sitting at. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to uh, taping this up real quick and then these uh, three spots and then uh, we'll move on to the next step all right and here you go um, it's all taped up you can see the slides are taped up the bleed valves taped up I went ahead and taped that banjo bolt uh, and the hose is all taped as well and you can see I can get to pretty much all these angles that I'm gonna need to get to this right here might be the only spot so I may wind up like trying to shoot that bottom of the slide um, I may try to reposition this I'm not really for sure but I can pretty well get to just about everything so. okay so I've actually repositioned this um, 
you see how I have this slid on right there onto the brake shield? So this way it gives me access to the bottom of that slide, okay? And then I can wrap around this backside and try to spray in the best I can this way. Um, and then if I need to, I can drop it down and then spray it again. Okay, so everything is all uh, dried up. I'm back on the GoPro now. Uh, everything is all dried up, wiped down with IPA. So we should be good to go. Uh, make sure that you shake your can plenty, guys, okay? Uh, two minutes or so of just a good bigger shake with that marble rolled around everything seated okay and it'll all it'll all work out I'm not gonna worry about the uh, uh, these uh, slides the actual pins we're just gonna leave them or not the pins I'm sorry but these uh, metal slide brackets they'll be okay the way they are um, and uh, I'm gonna start so you want to make sure that your first is just a really light coat guys Just a light coat the first coat and then that will give the paint something to bond on to I need to get underneath the bottom side here and spray this there we go I'm trying not to spray too much into there because I don't want to get into the pistons I probably uh, looking back uh, the next one <laughs> Definitely take those pistons off guys. Uh, I didn't do that. So I'm gonna try my best not to spray into there But uh, very light coating on the first coat. We'll let this sit for a few minutes uh, Let it do its thing and then uh, probably about 15 or so minutes and then I'll come back with another Light coating again and then we'll let that sit for about 15 minutes And then we can start to kind of thicken it up a little bit more We want to make sure that it has a good a good bond. Okay, so the first layer needs to be really nice and light and then we can start getting heavier and heavier. Probably gonna need three to four coats, I'm gonna say total. And, uh, and then we can let that sit and then move on to the clear, okay? Okay, so this is after, I believe the fourth coat, yes. This is the fourth coat that we put on this and it's looking pretty daggum good. All right. So we've let this kind of set and cure for about, I don't know, 15 or so minutes while we were on the other side. Uh, it says that it dries to the touch in 20, uh, but regardless, we're not gonna mess that right yet. We're gonna move on to the uh, clear. So same thing as the paint, guys. You wanna lay a very nice, light, even coat on the first one and let it flash. And then you can start to get heavier and heavier, two to three coats probably of this. Um, same thing because if you go too heavy out the gate it'll just cause runs it's gonna look like trash okay um and again i have my fan going over here you can see it's kind of blowing this around i'm going to shut that off to shoot the clear light coat first time and then uh, we'll continue on with the others all right guys i got a couple of uh, uh coats here on it now of clear coat i think i'm going to call it good so what you want to do is like touch a spot where you know you're never really going to see and when i touch into it it kind of barely strings a little bit you won't be able to see it here but just barely it's a little tacky and barely strings so that's a good time to pull paint or paint board it's time to uh, pull the uh, uh, tape off of it that way it's still wet you know so just get your corners of your tape lines and start pulling everything off that you can nice and easy try not to drag into the paint and then expose everything out right is it gonna be 100% perfect? Nope, but it's gonna look good when we get done, guys. So go ahead, we're gonna get all the tape off of this, all the plastic sheeting and everything off as well, and uh, we'll cut back. While we're waiting on the uh, fronts to uh, dry, I'm starting on the rear, and it's essentially gonna be the exact same process as we did on the front. Uh, the only difference is gonna be is that the, uh, the two uh, slide uh, caliper brackets instead of being 19 mil these are 17 mil so it's a 17 here and 17 down below it's still the same 10 10 millimeter 
uh, right here that's going to retain this on. Uh, on the driver's side, I don't know if the passenger is the same yet, I haven't quite made it over there, but there's like the, I'm assuming this is the ABS line that comes in, um, and that line is actually laid on top of this, so we can't really pull this out to get it out and away. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before. We just kind of prop it up into the uh, uh, that dust shield, and then it'll keep it propped up enough and exposed to where we can get to all angles. And I'm uh, fixing to start bagging all this up. I just got done scrubbing it down with the Purple Power, and I've already hit it with the brake clean, so it's pretty dry right now. Uh, and then I'm gonna bag it all up and then hit it with the IPA. All right guys, so it's the next day. Um, I just more or less, I'll show you here real quick. Um, just put everything back together, right? Once you once you do the, the three to four layers of paint and then uh, the clear coat, obviously put your brake pads back in and literally what you just did, undo it. <laughs> you know put it back together bolt everything back up what i did is i let it sit overnight uh i painted uh the last coat somewhere around like 6 p.m i want to say and i left the car uh, i left the car jacked up um or on blocks i guess i should say my stands uh with the wheels off and the caliper sitting as you last saw them just kind of hanging off um I left it like that until about uh, 8 o'clock that next morning, and then I just put everything back together. Uh, nothing special. Uh, I will say uh, I, there are a few little small imperfections with it. Um, I didn't get, uh, even though I wiped everything down, there still had to have been a little bit more grease. Uh, if I was to go back and do it again, I probably would buy... Uh, a little bit better of a grease and wax remover but the the amount of fish eyeing was so small um it was pretty minute so i didn't worry about it too much um but yeah just uh i, I think i want to say honestly that i did all four calipers with the one can uh, of paint so i'm actually going to return that second can i have no need for it so one can of paint and one can of clear and that was enough uh, i'll leave links to the paint that i use and the clear coat down uh in the description uh for you guys to go pick up i'll i'll leave a list of all the supplies if you want to order them all on amazon uh you can and again it's going to be an amazon affiliate link guys so you know if you do wind up ordering and buying through there it kind of kicks back and helps me out helps the channel grow uh, but anyways, I love the way that it turned out. I think it looked great. The front and rear look amazing. Really sets the car off. Uh, I'll throw up a picture real quick of kind of what it looks like finalized. That way you guys can see it uh, a little bit better, a little bit uh, prettier uh, picture than just the camera angle. But it does. It looks it looks really good. Uh, pretty simple. Um, I'm going to say it probably took me, you know, two hours or so, I would say. Uh, I would paint uh, in between each coat. I would paint and I'd let it sit for about uh, 10 or so minutes, 10 to 15 minutes to flash in between. And then that was about, so I did three coats. And then uh, while I was working on one, waiting on one to flash, I would go work on the other. And then while I was waiting on that one to flash, I'd go work on the other and just kind of do them all in four corners. And it worked out great. So uh, uh, one thing I did kind of want to touch on uh, is could could somebody do this without taking the calipers and the slides off the brackets yes you could um, if you wanted to go through with that bag uh, the trash bag and kind of cut a slit in it wrap it around um, and then you know tape really well you could and in all honesty if I was to do it again, that's probably how I would do it. I would just make sure to tape off the brake pads and that kind of stuff. But overall, it worked out great. I wanted to do it this way so I could get a little bit more of an angle, but you you could definitely do it without taking everything off. So anyways, uh, that's going to be it for the uh, video, guys. Um, hopefully you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you did. Like the content. Throws me up in the algorithm. And if you guys want to see anything else, uh, you know, of course, let me know down in the comments. Until then, peace.